All right, all right, all right. So let's check out number seven. Whoa, number 14 here. And we're given this function g of x. So g of x equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 5. And they want us to find g of negative pi. All right, so to set the scene, what is happening here is we're going to take this original function and wherever you see an x, I'm going to just stick a parenthesis because what this is saying is wherever we saw that x, right, we see an x here and we see an x here, this is what we're going to plug in. This is what we're going to replace that x value with, this negative pi. So wherever you saw x, boom, this is what you put in there now. And so that's why I put, put in those parentheses. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug in. I'll do it blue so we can see the consistency here. I'll plug in the negative pi there and the negative pi there. So that's what this function is saying to do. And now I evaluate. All right. So we end up with that negative. You just drop it down. Boom. Uh, when you square this negative, right, a negative times a negative, that's going to give you a positive. So we're just left with pi squared. Uh, we have this negative right here and this negative. They're being multiplied, so it turns into a positive 4 pi. And nothing happened to that 5. I just dropped it down. All right, so this is our answer here. All right, so again, when we're evaluating these functions for a certain number, right, all you're doing is plugging in the value that's here in the parentheses. All right, so let's take a look at another one. So that's question 14. All right, so for this problem, we're given the function 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, and they want us to find g of a. So what that's telling us is that wherever you see an x, you're plugging in this a value. So let's do that. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my function here, but wherever I see an x, I'm putting a parentheses because something's going inside the parentheses. So what's going inside the parentheses this time? Bam, that a value. So I'll put the a right here and the a right here. So now if I simplify this, there's not much we could do here. So this just turns into 2a squared plus 3a minus 2. So again, these problems, what they're doing is they're getting you accustomed. They're getting you used to plugging in whatever values here. Boom. That's what we plug in for x in this case. So if that was a 5, I would put a 5 there and a 5 there. But in this case, it was just an a. So that's why we did exactly what we could do. Um, here, they're not like terms, so I cannot simplify that anymore. So there's my final answer. Alrighty. So let's go on, look at number uh, 16 here. All right. So for this problem, we have the function g of x equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 3. Right? So wherever we see x, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our parentheses to start off with. All right, and what are we plugging in this time? Boom, good. So we're plugging in that negative 4. So let's go ahead and plug in that negative 4. I'll be right there. All right, so now we could go ahead and simplify this. So we end up with this negative. We're going to drop it down. Bam. Negative 4 squared, that's just 16, right? Because negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And then here you have another negative 4 and another negative 4 that are being multiplied. So that's going to give us a positive 16 right there plus 3. So here we have negative 16 plus 16. They're going to cancel each other out. So all we're going to be left with is that 3. So when you plugged in, so there's our answer right there. But when you plugged in the x value of negative 4, our output, right, our solution was 3. All right, partner, hope that helped. All right, so for this problem right here, 
they want us to use the function f of x equals 9x minus 8. But this time, we're going to plug in for the very first time an expression. So in this case, we're plugging in x plus 6. Don't let this mess with you. All right, don't let it mess with you. So all we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same thing that we've been doing. Wherever you see an x, boom, put the parentheses. Everything else stays the same because remember, this is what we're plugging in, right? The idea never changes. So let's go ahead and plug in the x plus 6. All right, so now let's do the math. So we're going to distribute, we're going to distribute. So 9 times x gives us 9x. And then 9 times 6, that's going to give us positive 54. And that 8, nothing happened to it, so we just drop it down. All right, so again, you see we've been doing the same thing that we've constantly been doing. Let's go ahead and combine our like terms now. So the 9x, you can't do anything with it. So 54 minus 8, so we end up with a positive 46. That's as far as we could go because those are not like terms. All right, so there's your answer. All right, this problem is probably bugging you too. And the reason why is because you notice there is no x value over here. So whatever they give us, there's nowhere to plug it in. All right. So what this is saying is that our y value, our output, is always going to be 7. So it doesn't even, um, that's what I'm looking for. It doesn't even matter here what I plug in because my output will always be 7. So here it's saying to plug in x plus 9. Notice, again, there's nowhere to plug it in. So my answer is always going to be 7. And it doesn't matter what is in here, all right, because there's no x value. Hopefully that helps out. Let's look at the next question. All right, so in this problem right here, they give us this function. There's our x value. So we're going to be plugging something for x. What are we plugging in for x? Well. It's telling us plug in S minus 9. All right. So I forgot my mic. My bad. So let's go ahead and plug in S minus 9. So I put, oops, my absolute value bars. I see an X. So I'll plug in my parentheses plus 1. What's going in those parentheses? S minus 9. Let me change colors here. So we plug in the s minus 9. All right. So now we have negative 9 plus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So we end up with this uh, absolute value of s and negative 9 plus 1. That just leaves us with negative 8. So we have the absolute value of s minus 8. All right. No, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to change that negative 8 to a plus 8. You could only do that when this negative 8 was by itself. But because it's not by itself, it's an uh, expression, s minus 8. This is as far as we could go. So this is our final answer. So make sure when you write this as your answer that you include the absolute value signs. All right. So hopefully that helps out. All right, this is another one of these functions that's really easy, but a little bit tricky, so you gotta be careful. All right, so notice over here in my function, it's always one. There's no x value, right? So there's nowhere to plug anything in. So here it's telling us to plug in a plus v everywhere you see an x. But here's the thing, we don't see an x. So we know for these problems, when there's no x value in our function, my answer is always whatever you see right there. So your answer is always going to be 1. I don't care if you had h of happy face, right? Your answer would still be 1 for this function. All right. So hopefully that makes it a lot easier. All right. Question 20. I have to take my hat off to you. You made it this far. All right. So wherever we see an x, we're going to go ahead and plug in 9 over 2. So let's do it. All right. So we get the absolute value, 
wherever you see an x, you just said we're plugging in 9 over 2 minus 2. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this 2 over 1 because we need the LCD, right? So let's go ahead and take care of this. So I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2 because I want these denominators to be the same. So rewriting this, we end up with the absolute value of 9 over 2 minus 4, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4 over 2. All right, now I could subtract this. So we end up with the absolute value of 5 over 9, whoa, 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 5 over 2, right? And when I simplify that, when I take the absolute value, it just keeps it positive. So you're still left with 5 over 2. Bam. So that's how you take care of business there. You're all done.